Capricorn. I'm getting the message here that something is coming forward from deep within. I'm seeing very much the belly, something forgotten, something important to be remembered, a plan, um, an intention, something that is a part of your destiny, a part of your project here. In meditation, a few things did come through. Welcome to my table, you guys. Hello, you beautiful souls. Thank you so much for joining me here. If you're new here, I do go over channel messages and meditation, and then we get into the tarot and oracle cards. So if you're returning, guys, hey, it's good to see you again. Thank you so much for your love and support, as always. It's been a hot minute, and I have missed you guys. So it's great to be back. Um, I've been dealing with a lot of health stuff myself, and things are improving, so I'm happy to report that, okay? Those of you that have been keeping track in the community tab. So, I love you, Capricorn. It's good to see you. A knot. A knot and knots below is something that came through in meditation, and this is not not as far as N-O-T to negate. It is not N-A-U-G-H-T, so symbolizing nothing or zero, the message that I'm getting coming through on that is a feeling of emptiness, something below the surface that is causing a feeling of lack potentially. And it feels connected to, like I said, a purpose or a project, remembering something here, a reason why you came here, maybe feeling like you have been trying to approach whatever this is that's missing and continuing to miss the mark yourself. Maybe you have been feeling as a zero. Let's see if we can change that Capricorn because you certainly are not. The next thing that came through was barbed wire, actually. So I do feel that whatever this is that we're talking about that's laying just below the surface um, is very, very important. It's, it's guarded or protected with the barbed wire coming through. And this feels more like it's is protecting from others from being able to invade on the space, whatever this is, but it's also protecting from you. And what I mean by that is you needing to be ready to a certain degree to access whatever this is as well. You need that superpower where you can walk through barbed wire, right? The message of you can do this. You can do this Capricorn. So let's get into the symbols that came through here. I'm, a, I'm excited. So the first symbol, uh, well, only one came through, but like I said, it was connected to another and I'll go back to that. So this one is titled padded protection. So I'm going to show the camera here. You can pause this to draw this out and let me explain this here too. So um, this is drawn. I've drawn little arrows here on step one, two, three, four. Okay. So step one, we're drawing this shape rounded diamond here at the bottom. Step two, the line comes up. Step three, on this side here, we're drawing from the top to the bottom. On step four, we're drawing from the top to the bottom again, okay? So padded protection. What is this for, you ask? Well, let me tell you, Capricorn. Um, the instructions were to sit on this. So drawing this out on a piece of paper, putting it underneath yourself as you are seated in meditation. It's gonna be on the ground, underneath yourself on a chair, etc. So the point of this symbol is to offer um, well padded protection. The way that I see this is that something coming through whatever this knot is, the knot below, as this unties itself becomes known to you, there is a surge of energy of experience of gifts potentially that come through that could fry the system like um, a bolt of lightning, right? If you're not grounded in the right way, it could it could affect the system in a negative way. This is a very positive thing, but this is just helping buffer the flow of that energy so that you can receive to the degree that you are comfortable with or that is healthy for you to receive at this time. So um, this was connected to the feather key. Um, I just lost it here. Sorry, one, one second. The feather key. So this is the, the first part here, and I hadn't started drawing which directions here yet. Um, I just had a subscriber want to know. So there you go, you guys. It's okay to draw this however you'd like. The feather key. So the feather key here is you draw this out back in meditation. We're placing this up to the third eye, and this is actually unlocking potential. 
So this is the not below. Um, unlocks all potential. This is what you're going to say as you place this to your third eye. At this time, I unlock my destiny, and with gratitude, I step into my full potential. I'm going to say that one more time. At this time, I unlock my destiny, and with gratitude, I step into my full potential. So with this at your third eye, and the padded protection um, on your sit bone, right? Right underneath you here. I like the connection of that as well, like I was saying with the, the lightning bolt. It is like a, a bolt of energy coming through, activated through the third eye, but then grounded, okay? I love this. You can do this. You can do this, Capricorn. So let's get into your tarot and oracle messages, see where this is going further. This deck here. Okay, I'm feeling two, Spirit. Starseed Oracle here. Messages for... Capricorn, almost a Taurus, not anywhere near Taurus right now. You're not for everyone, for sure. Embrace your weirdness and face your true north. Ooh, I like this coming through as we're talking about unlocking your potential, right? Whatever this not is, moving from zero to one, from the state of creation and potential into something now being. I love this for you, Capricorn. And please, y'all, I'd love to hear what's going on for you and how this connects to you, okay? Um, face your true north though. Yes, I, I feel like we're moving towards purpose, like I said. So the one that fell out here, or the other one that fell out here is earthed, learning how to be human in this world, but not of it. So that draws me back to the symbol that came through in meditation today, that grounding component, like I said. Um, Maybe you are somebody here with this card, learning how to be human. Maybe you feel that you do struggle with connecting to what it means to be human or you feel foreign. I feel that it's really important to say, even if we do feel foreign, and I can relate to that experience, it doesn't mean that we aren't still here learning how to be human. To not give in to that feeling, okay? To not mm, sequester ourselves to the corner like, well, we are just, I'm not even from here. I shouldn't even be a part of this experience. Except for that's a total lie, right? <laughs> You're meant to be here just as anybody else is here. So I, I feel like this activation or this allowing the um, activation of your not, whatever this is, this potential, this um, plan, really helps you feel a bit more comfortable in your skin here, okay? Just as I am as being a skin too. If if you have been following it all, um, I did say I was going to mention all the signs, but I don't want to drag it out. Feel free to check out the community tab. I've just had my own health stuff, especially with skin going on. And um, there is a, you know, image component to it that's been difficult to handle. It's also been extremely painful. Things are starting to improve though. So I am going to lean into that. Um, I feel like this is a good example of something, you know, maybe you have been feeling uncomfortable in your skin. I feel that number one, we're on the right track of treating whatever this is, but there was something about me sharing this too in Sagittarius and Scorpio and the community tab as well. There was something about just surrendering to the pain, surrendering to the discomfort, surrendering to the difficulty in managing my own ego image wise what i mean by that like i was requesting people uh, and the boundary still remains please respect i am not a huge fan of personal image remarks um i don't do this for that okay you guys i understand we're human and we're gonna say some things but please understand that even positive compliments seemingly innocuous from your side has a major effect on me. It has a major effect on anybody who does stuff like this here on YouTube, I promise you. So uh, I'm not saying, you know, for others, don't do it. The, the boundary is for me, you guys, it's really helpful to not have that <laughs> so that I can just focus on the messages here. Okay. I love you. Thank you. So moving forward into your message, back to you, back to you, Capricorn. I, I feel that you may be going through something similar here with the eclipse season with portal season happening here what was going on six months ago six months before that is there something that's seeming to be clinging hanging on i know for me well i started this channel back in october last year we're coming up on a year october 6th here um 
right around eclipse seasons when I started. So there were there are some lessons here regarding well image and my health too. So um, repeating themes, okay, you guys. It I feel like it's pointing right now, especially to unlocking something really special. What you what you came here to experience or express? Okay, let's get into that a little further. Um, one of these. Okay, this is the Urban Crow Oracle. Isolation. Interesting. Isolation here. I feel like um, the right kind of isolation. Interesting. For some of you, maybe you have been in isolation mode. Maybe you've been keeping to yourself. Um, I'm getting kind of a dual thing. So as we're talking about activating this knot, uh, this is needed. There is a state of solitude that's needed in order to address this. You need to approach this yourself. But I am getting kind of like I was saying, sequestering yourself. I'm getting this this feeling of taking yourself out of the race in some way. Maybe, like I said, you are feeling so uncomfortable in your skin as a human experience here. I can relate. I constantly have to remind myself I'm here to learn how to be human. Um, it feels like somebody is going through that right now, too. Please don't isolate yourself just because you feel foreign. You may be foreign. Maybe this is your first experience here. That's okay. That's okay, you guys. Okay. I love it. You can do this, Capricorn. All right. Um, let's do an animal spirit oracle card here, and then we'll get into the tarot. Any other messages for Capricorn at this time, please, spirit? <laughs> okay. Um, Cobra here at the bottom. So the um, teacher appears when the student's ready. There is something to me about the switch between... Um, I don't want to explain that. The difference between isolation and solitude, very like hermit, you know, Virgo energy. What is the difference between that? Well, I feel that it's perspective. I think, uh, I mean, there could literally be physical differences, obviously, you know, if you're living in the mountains for the last 25 years, that's pretty isolating. Um, there is a choice in that, though. There's a, phys there's a physical choice that happens to, to separate yourself if that's you. This is applying to somebody who's struggling with um, maybe something that is more solitude, but human emotion turning that into an experience of isolation. So keep kind of keeping you trapped. That's I'm feeling this like uh, circle track, okay? A need to break from that circle track. How do we do that? Challenge yourself to think differently. <laughs> I know that sounds um, silly or or simple, a lot of the things we're doing here as human are, are as humans are very simple. We do tend to make it a bit more difficult. It may take some time to change the way you're viewing that, but for someone, this is just feeling very important. You do belong here, okay? You were you were supposed to be here. Black egg is what comes through. So black egg is the throat chakra. Something something needing to be spoken. I feel that there are activations that are going on with this. It was actually um, the witch wound is something that's coming through on that. Those of you who have experienced a witch wound in this life or another life, being persecuted for your access to your divine feminine side. That is the witch wound, okay? <laughs> having physical harm, emotional, mental harm caused because you were accessing gifts, intuitive abilities connected to the divine feminine. A large part of that witch wound, of the witch wound, is getting to a place of being able to feel comfortable using your voice again. Because a lot of the time, those of us that have incurred that kind of wound, this gets shut down because this is what got us in trouble, right? And that's in quotes there for those that aren't watching. That got us in trouble, <laughs> okay? I feel that somebody is approaching this threshold here where the soul is getting back to a plate. This knot, mm, mm, okay, ooh, that's delicious. This knot is, uh, I'm totally feeling it in the sacral, all right? Um, it's time to reactivate 
that connection, that isolation from the divine feminine towards yourself too. Interesting. Back to your not for everyone. Yeah, I'm feeling very witch wound here, you guys. It's time to speak your truth again. I feel that every, everybody's here at different places of this, but um, I think some of you have gone to a point where you're starting to use your voice again, even in situations where it feels scary. Um, and others of you are right at that door, okay? Right at that threshold. Use the symbols. I feel like that's going to be really helpful. Okay, 1551 on the timer there. Love the mirror numbers. Let's get into your tarot. We'll start with the crow. Crow tarot here. This is a new deck. So Spirit, what do we have here for Capricorn at this time? And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a link in the description of this video, there's also a join button next to the subscribe. Feel free to hit subscribe if you haven't. And I do have personal readings open and available. You can check out my website there in the description of the video. Okay, what's going on for Capricorn? I'm seeing a crown, okay. We may be connected to the tower. Okay. Something, yeah, something may need to come tumbling down. The Hierophant here. So this is your hopes, hopes and dreams. So the Hierophant is um, temperance there underneath as well. I do get this feeling of uh, balance, spiritual balance in particular. You've been seeking this spiritual balance. It feels like... Yeah, this is the time here with the threshold, whether this is a witch wound or you are just activating components of yourself that haven't been active for a while, more than a lifetime. You've been putting work in spiritually here and now is the time to intertwine the code is what I'm hearing. Interesting. Intertwine the code between the spiritual experience and the physical experience. Be not afraid. It's time to, to lose the fear. Okay. Love it. Okay. Um, we'll do the light seers tarot here. We are shacking deck. So spirit Capricorn, what's going on for Capricorn at this time? And five of pentacles there at the split. I, I feel that you guys are exiting this space of pain, of isolation, feeling abandoned, feeling like you don't belong. I do feel like there is a fear connected to that, that maybe that's a permanent space for some of you. Like I said, it's not. It doesn't have to be. Okay. There's the Hierophant there again, too. Yeah, you're in this process of spiritual evolution. What do we have for Capricorn here, please, Spirit? And this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. Y'all are intelligent. There's your card there, too, as we're talking about you. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which of these messages are for you and leave the rest behind. Get it out of here if it's not for you. Check out your rising moon Venus and the other major placements in your chart for a more complete story of who you is, okay? Death and rebirth, hey, here at the bottom. So this is your fear, fear aversion. And the moon there too, yes, okay. So there's a lot of fear surrounding change at this time. I feel for some of you, or a good deal of you at this point, that witch wound is really standing out here. You're getting to a point here in this lifetime where it's like it's time to really heal that to really come back to that place of being who you were, who you are, before there was that persecution, okay? And like I said, this could have happened in this life. It could have happened in another life. Um, and it doesn't matter if you're male or female, okay? That witch wound can happen to the divine feminine within any of us and has over time, okay? We're, we're turning the tables on that. So with death and rebirth, something's ending. Something is starting here too. But there's a fear with the moon here too, something subconscious, the knots below. <laughs> um, interesting. Don't be, don't be scared, okay? Or be scared and do it anyway, you guys. Like I said in the channel messages, you can do this. You got this. You were born to do this. You were born to express this. And you will, okay? So getting into your general energy here to start, you have Queen of Swords. <laughs> it's time for some truth. Yes. So Queen of Swords is blunt and honest. 
There's this pursuit of the truth. What is what is the truth? With black egg coming through here, like I said, with the throat chakra, um, I'm I'm brought back to. I'm just gonna say witch wound. It doesn't have to be witch wound for everybody. It could just be something traumatic that um, happened with the divine feminine. But whatever degree, it feels it feels like exactly that. And she has something to say. And she will not be silenced this time. Is what I feel. She's she's not here to to destroy worlds. There is a divine. Ooh, interesting. There is a divine rage attached to that kind of experience that is justified. What I'm getting in this experience, though, is tempering what it is you have to say with just the right amount of rage, <laughs> okay? To not let the rage overcome you because we can, we can slip into toxic shadow forms of the divine masculine or feminine. And there's that crown too. Hey, <laughs> there's that crown. This is a time for you to take your throne again, to take the seat here, to put your crown back on, whatever crown was taken. And this does feel very divine feminine, you guys. Now is the time for her to speak. I love this. I love this. Okay. Eight of swords here in reverse. Yay. Yeah, this is a time of releasing yourself from a trap, from isolation, from self-isolation. The Eight of Swords is an energy of a mental trap being stuck in the mind. Very Gemini energy. I get this. It was totally me on the daily, you guys. <laughs> on the daily. But this is something, um, again, attached to like a witch wound, like I'm saying. This feels like something that uh, was never meant to be a trap. This human experience, too, as I was saying before. Maybe you feel foreign here. The more foreign you feel here, the more important it is for you to be here to release yourself from that feeling of feeling trapped. You're not trapped here. This, this was certainly a choice, I promise you. I mean, there are some situations of karma where, you know, you're kind of forced into things, but I, I really don't think that applies to many people here. Uh, you don't want that to apply to you is what I'm saying. So I see the truth. Oh, I love this. The truth shall set you free, you guys. Yay. Um, can I get a, just a tiny bit more on that, please, spirit? The truth here. Any advice for Capricorn? Moving on. Endings that bring healthy beginnings. This is a time for some major healing, you guys. When moving on comes through, I see that as like, there's a lack of emotion that's attached to this. And this isn't that you're removing emotion from the situation. This feels like something that is being freed. Like I said, you're able to move on from something because the emotion has been excised or extricated from the situation it's been felt it's been processed it's been vocalized i'm very much getting with the symbols here the third eye this activation here with the root to this buffering this padding is allowing ah it's okay oh it's filtering the divine rage you guys Ooh, i'm getting chills on that because that can overcome somebody right even if it is a justified rage, we still have the task of navigating as a human being this experience. So it's helping you feel just the, just the right amount of rage, okay? To be able to start speaking your truth, setting boundaries, what, whatever this is that needs to happen um, to heal this wound, okay? Yay, I love this. Healing, yay. So uh, good stuff for you guys at this time, the fool. Yeah? It's a time to start over, to start something new, to start the journey that you intended to start. If this is you that this is resonating with, with a witch wound in particular, that journey would have been halted, right? In an aggressive way. <laughs> and that's where this divine rage is coming through. Uh, maybe you recognize that you um, struggle. Maybe there are fits of anger or rage that come up. God knows I've, I've felt that a lot throughout my life too and not been able to really connect it to something until I was. There's something about this whole process of activating, speaking, releasing that allows you to get back on track. You were always being led to the same cliff here. It was always your intention to jump off. 
what I'm seeing is like uh, interesting upgrading from a fly swatter to like a, a bug zapper here. This is the process you're going into right now, spiritually speaking. You will not be silenced. You will not be silenced this time. That's what I'm that's what I'm feeling. The protection, your padded protection, you're moving from a fly swatter to a bug zapper. Getting yourself into a position and spirits helping you with this to where you will not be harmed this time. I do feel though that there, as you are working through this Capricorn, there will be some powerful emotions that come up that could sabotage the direction you're heading, okay? It could cause harm to others outside of you too. And that's where I feel like this padded protection is coming through. It's helping to mitigate that, like I said. This is important. This is important for your journey. I love this. Love this. King of Swords here too, in reverse, in your good stuff. So I feel um, with both the King and Queen of Swords in reverse here, it, it speaks to me on um, like a disconnect from the heart. This feels like the heart coming back online. Another component that was needing to be disconnected in order for you to survive for your safety. I feel better, interesting, better um, boundaries surrounding the heart too. This flow of energy as things are activating and unblocking It might take a, what I'm hearing is two weeks. That's interesting. Okay. Taking some time to, um, I don't explain that spirit. What's coming through is like a heavy metal detox. So there are things, whether you're taking prescription medication, herbs, whatever, to help detoxify heavy metals, it's really important not to go too fast. And there's a need to take a binder as well, something like charcoal to allow those heavy metals to bind and be eliminated from the system. Otherwise, it's being released and it's settling again in other components of the system. That's kind of what I feel like here. As this energy is being adjusted, things need to settle, okay? So there's like a two-week period here. There's um, a period here where there may be some uncomfortable symptoms or there will be some uncomfortable symptoms. Please use that as a good sign here, okay? You're moving towards the path that you want to move towards. Anything else here for Capricorn, please? On the good step. Creativity. Have fun. Express yourself in new ways. I yeah, I feel like you guys are about to have some more fun, okay? Self-awareness, tapping into your higher self, questioning routines and patterns. Connecting that to the energy adjustment, okay, you guys? Ask your higher self for some help. As you're going into meditation using these symbols to connect with your higher self. You can connect with your team too, but there's something about communicating specifically with your higher self here. This is the energy that you're working to uh, integrate. So call them up, you know what I'm saying? And creativity, have fun, express yourself in ways. I'm getting this feeling of a lightness, a weight being released so that you feel you can have fun again. Okay. What's in the shadow, what you don't see coming at this time? Ace of Pentacles. So new opportunities. I feel that this, whether it is a witch wound specifically, like I said, or a trauma that is just surrounding the divine feminine in general, this has restricted you from tapping into this creativity, the sacral chakra. The ability to create new things, to manifest new opportunities, whether this is a job, a new stream of income, return on investment for some of you. What you don't see coming is this opportunity or the things that you have been working to create. <laughs> what I'm seeing is like a, a loop in the post office system. You've got a forward in place and it's going to nowhere. So it's being sent back over and over again. These are your manifestations. What's needed is this divine feminine energy, this, this um, solid connection to the sacral chakra that allows this whatever hang up here in the system to be smoothed over and to, to move forward. Working on this, you guys, it feels like there's a, 
there's a lot coming forward. Like there is a barrage of things coming forward as you start to iron out this flow. I love that for you. Capricorn, yay. Ooh, six of wands here too comes in to clarify that. What you don't see coming, what's in the dark here. Recognition. This is also, um, maybe you are a social media influencer. This card in particular in this deck can symbolize a social media influencer. Um, for some of you, I feel there may be an opportunity for, it doesn't have to necessarily be like full on collaboration. For some of you guys, maybe there's a benefit in that. Um, but I'm getting, I'm getting the message of like, like recognizing the truth, perhaps maybe, a um, an energy and activating energy in another reader here on YouTube. So it's not like I said, there could be maybe some of you could benefit from a uh, collaboration. There does feel like there's a money component to, to this, but, um, what I'm getting is like a re-edifying truth. Okay. Nobody owns these messages. You know what I'm saying? Like this is spirit. Those of us that are giving these sorts of messages from an authentic place, it is not us. It is not me that is giving this message. I cannot allow, I could, I'm not going to allow my ego to come in and own that because it's not true. This would be the case for other readers as well. And that's kind of what I'm talking about is, uh, recognizing the truth, recognizing the message from spirit. Maybe there's something that you see that you now go, well, this is something I, I feel I need to share this message too. That's kind of what I'm getting. I'm not talking about like a full on copying somebody. I think you understand. Um, or plagiarism, it, this truth is truth. And it doesn't matter who it comes from and nobody owns that either. There's something about recognizing this for some of you, okay? Um, anything else here for Capricorn on what's in the dark? Energy activation, connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. So when this comes through, I do feel there is a need to um, remind that we're doing meditation and prayer because this says meditation or prayer. Prayer is about, it's the divine masculine action of putting energy out there, asking, requesting, um, meditation is the divine feminine, listening, receiving, both are required. It is, we need to communicate properly with the universe. Uh, maybe for some of you, like I said, there is, there is a, a person or a new, um, way of doing things that you want to connect with collaboration. Like I said, um, start putting that out energetically through prayer and meditation if that connection is meant to happen, it'll happen, right? Right. Um, and energy activation, we've been talking about that too. So I feel like there's a request here to pay attention to that, to know what direction you're heading, at least generally. We're heading into energy activation. Yes, Capricorn, that's correct. So your difficulty at this time, um, your trials, page of swords. I feel like the biggest difficulty for y'all is in a new skill, picking up a new skill or allowing something new to come through. Page of Swords is like learning something new. Um, interestingly enough, also in its shadow side, it can stand for spying, like spying behavior, keeping track of somebody on social media, keeping track of somebody energetically, maybe even an overfixation or obsession on being watched yourself. Um, connecting that to the witch wound, like we were saying here, I feel for some of you, that's exactly what's going on. There's a need to get this energy flowing again, speaking your truth in, in the face of fear. I feel like some of you are getting to a point energetically where you're experiencing something similar to, um, where you incurred that witch wound to begin with. And so at a soul level, there's this fear of like, shit. Are we doing this again? Not the same way. This is your time to take your power back. You got shit to say, Capricorn, okay? It doesn't matter who's watching is what I'm getting there. Hmm. Ooh. Got some divine feminine chills on that. She's coming. She's got shit to say. Ace of Swords here in the reverse. Clarifying your obstacle. 
Um, the truth, again, you guys, I feel I feel that it's difficult to get this truth out, your truth out, because you are coming up against a wall, an experience where in the past, well, maybe you were burned at the stake, right? There was there was persecution. There was physical, emotional, spiritual harm. Okay. So you're tangling with whether it's the body, soul, um, you're tangling with these traumas your ego that's trying to keep you safe. Hey, remember last time we, you know, were psychic or intuitive, we got burned at the stake or, you know, dunked in a river until we died, right? That's kind of what I'm getting. That thought is really difficult for you to handle right now. This energy is blocked in this situation because of the fear. Yes, this is hard. This goes back. This goes deep, okay? These symbols will help. You can do, I now understand, you can do this, Capricorn. That's why this was coming through. You can do this. This is not easy, but you can do this. Any other advice here for Capricorn? Release. Release grudges, wounds, and pent-up feelings through healthy activities. Yes, it's your, it's your time, you guys. Like I said, whether this is a legit witch wound or just trauma to the divine feminine, regardless of who you are, it's time. We're healing this. It's our time, Okay. I'm going to pull a Blue Angel Oracle card here to close this out. And then I am going to go into an extended. In the extended, we look at direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what's most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions at this time. So if you want to check that out, um, I'll have links in the description after this. Spirit, last message here for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know at this time? Ooh. Life everlasting. I'm going to read this from the book here. Your immortal nature. Yes. Your immortal nature. Your life is an eternal blessing that spans endless light years in all directions. There is light and love within every atom of your being. You exist in the heart of oneness. You are not your physical body. The real you transcends all form, all time, and all space. You are ageless. Your soul folds back within itself life after life. You are the oneness that is all, the eternal I am. May this message remind you of your mortal nature, and may you be forever grateful. Within time, there are endless years. Beyond time, there is eternity. Today marks the start of a new chapter in the beautiful story that is you. Yes, there's that fool and your good stuff. Forget the script, for in truth there is none. Simply be the expression of love that you truly are. Only by the wave falling back into the sea can it become unlimited. Never as a wave can it be so. Then, after it has become the sea, it can become the wave again. Um, that is Swami Vivekananda. So that leads me back to the isolation component here we were talking about earlier. It's time to come back to the ocean so that you can be a wave once more. How are we coming back to the ocean here? This process of using these symbols in meditation... It feels like this is the, the consensual surrender to bring yourself back to the flow so that you can once again flow. Okay, you guys, I love this. I love you so much, Capricorn, and you can do this. Remember, you can do this. I am going into the extended, like I said. There are links in the description if you want to check that out. I do have them for sale individually, and as a third tier of membership, you can have access to all of those. Private readings are open available if you want to check out my website, too. And if this did resonate with you guys, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. They're all great ways to support me in the growth of this channel, and I truly appreciate it. My Cash App and PayPal links are in there too if you do feel called to tip or donate. I truly appreciate the support, you guys, in growing this channel in that way. And to those of you who do and have supported the channel in that way, thank you. It goes a long way. So please take care of yourselves, Capricorn. I will see you all very, very soon. Be well.